Hello YouTube, this is Marshall Curtis and today I'm doing another little vacuum video. This time on my first trash picked Panasonic. The model number is MCV5005 with two zeros in the end. It was made sometime in the late 2000s or early 2010s. Panasonic stopped making, stopped selling them in the U.S. because they would not lower their quality standards. And I understand they're going to start making them again or selling them in the U.S. But being I have... I'm a kind of a fan of Panasonic. I have a Panasonic DVD player and a TV set. This is 15 years old and that's 17 years old. In other words, Panasonic has got a reputation to maintain. Okay. Oh, by the way, the cheat sheet, as you may know by now, my regular followers, I now put it in the description of the video instead of on paper. This is a double clutch. That means you step on it once to lower the cradle, and yet you can still raise the floor head, step on it again, and you can go all the way low. I like that. How low can you go? Well, as I said, I've got a carpet mess here and a hard floor mess there. Let's get started. she do on the carpet I guess not too shabby now it's hard full time This has an automatic height adjuster and it does not have a brush roll cancel switch.
might be why it was left by the dumpster. You may have noticed all of my vacuums going <laughs> over this hard floor. That's not the vacuum's fault, that's because of the floor. of dust that I picked out of the garbage that I had already vacuumed up with another vacuum cleaner. All right, want to be that way about it. Well, here's the thing about it. I thought this thing might actually have been fully suitable for use of vacuuming right straight from the dumpster. Nice wooden brush roll with nice long bristles. But it scatters and it snow plows. It's a bag machine, and the bag was half full. And this might be another reason. Hose keeps coming off. It's missing all the attachments. What do you expect? It's right from the dumpster emporium. Cord has no dog bite on it. And I think this unit has surprisingly low miles. Look at those cord bends, those cord hook bends surprisingly hardly any scuff marks on it so either that or somebody was always careful not to get it scuffed up in the first place or always cleaned it up well youtube somebody wanted to get a newer and better vacuum after about 10 or 15 years or so and they figured that somebody else did. Well, you get what I mean. This is Marshall Curtis. Oh. You tell me if I missed anything on the hard floor. You know what to do if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.